okay hi let's talk about table valued functions or table functions in this video so in the earlier video we talked we talked about so what is function in the sql server and what is a scalar or single valued function in the sql server but in this video we'll talk about table valued functions so when i say table valued functions so it is going to return a table so when you run the function it you are going to get a table as a result when i say table it is going to give you couple of columns and couple of rows as well so how to write a table valued functions the syntax is going to similar like a scalar valued function but the return type is going to vary now let me show you the syntax how to write a table valued function in the sql server let's go to sql server management studio so let me show you the syntax first create function and we'll be writing a function name function name uh, returns returns and what is the table i'm going to return a table yes return so that code the code you are going to write here so this is what the syntax in writing the table valued function so to write this table valued function i am going to use three tables from the adventure works database so let me explain those tables first before writing a uh, function so the first table is i am going to take a product table so this is a product table which contains a product details and in the product details i have a product id product name product number and i have a one primary key in this table the name of the primary key is product category sub product sub category id if you see the highlighted here is product sub category id now let me go to the product sub category if you go there here you will be having product sub category id and the product sub category name along with that i have some other columns but if you see this product sub category is going to have one more foreign key the name of the foreign key is product category id now let me go to the product category if you go there here this is a kind of master table for all these and it is having four rows with four columns those products are classified into four categories bikes components clothing and accessories now to identify how many products in each and every product category you need to join product category to product sub category product sub category to product table means if you join these three tables then only you will get the number of uh, products which are under each and every category so here i am going to handle so that thing in the table valued function so if i pass a bikes as a uh, product category i want what are all the types of bikes which are there in the particular bikes category i want the components what are all the components under the product uh, category components i want that so how to write it now if you see that we talked about all these three tables which we are going to use in the function table valued function now let me start a function here create function means this function i am going to pass one input so because i want dot product category details only not all the products category details now i am going to give the name as product get get um, products based on the category products based on category and which i am going to pass the id as product category id at the rate product category id and i am going to make it as int returns as we already told returns table table yes return return i am going to write the query here okay so in the so i am going to write the query here i am going to join these tables select first i am going to write the star for time being later i will put what are all the columns which i need it as i will get the intelligence once i write the table name production dot product so i'm going to make it as a p so here let me put a space for the column names production p so join so i'm going to join with the production dot product um, sub category 
क्या प्रोडक्ट सब कैटेगरी पी एस आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ऑन पी एस डॉट प्रोडक्ट सब कैटेगरी आई डी इक्वल टू पी डॉट प्रोडक्ट सब कैटेगरी आई डी ज्वाइन प्रोडक्शन डॉट प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी पी सी डॉट सॉरी क्या पी सी ऑन पी सी डॉट प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी आई डी इक्वल टू पी एस डॉट प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी आई डी ओके वे आई एम गोइंग टू सेट एज ए पी सी डॉट प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी आई डी इक्वल टू एट द रेट इज द की विच आई स्पेसिफाइडे नाउ सो वॉट आर ऑल द फील्ड आई वॉन्ट वॉट आर ऑल द कॉलम्स आई वॉन्ट सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्लेस स्टार विथ ए कॉलम नेम स्पेशली पी पी डॉट सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट एज ए प्रोडक्ट नंबर फर्स्ट विच इज द प्रोडक्ट नंबर या प्रोडक्ट नंबर काम पी डॉट नेम सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट एज अलियस नेम एज प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट नेम काम पी सी डा पी एस प्रोडक्ट सब कैटेगरी पी एस डॉट नेम आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट एज ए प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट सब कैटेगरी नेम सो आई आई एम आई एम गिविंग ए शॉर्ट नेम्स देन द बिगर नेम्स ओ पी सी डॉट नेम सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट एज प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी नेम सो हियर that's how i'm going to maintain the names i'm giving a meaningful names name yeah so these are all the columns i want let me make this name here yeah so these are all the four fields i want and if i want the product uh, color as well i can take it as a p dot color so that's up to us so you can we can we can take it whatever the fields we want means i'm taking product number product name uh, product color product sub category name product category name so based on the product category id so i am going to execute this once i am done i am going to execute the commands has been created successfully completed successfully then how to run this then how to run this so select so this is a table evaluate function when i say it is a table evaluate function so it is going to run similar to the table select star from the function name so better to put as a dbo dbo dot function name of whatever the value you want to pass let's pass that let's run this select star from this execute it now if you see that so you got how many rows you got 97 rows so with this particular category you have a product number product name product color product sub category name product category name so let me pass this value to let's run this yeah i have 134 so you already know that we have only four product categories let me pass seven so obviously yes you not be getting anything so this is a means my result is going to empty so if you see that this is how we execute the table evaluate functions so when i say table evaluate functions it is going to run like a table like select star from table name but here we are passing some input either product category id 1 2 3 something like that so this is how we write a table evaluate functions in the SQL server that's it thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos